My special guest, Dr. Teresa Guise, is a professor, clinician, and chief of the Bone Mineral Disorders section of the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. Dr. Guise describes how bone remodels and stays healthy. I bring you Dr. Guise. Could one of you please review what normal bone remodeling looks like for the viewers? Um, thank you, Margaret. I'd be happy to do that. Bone is a hard tissue, but it's a dynamic tissue, and we often don't think about bone until it breaks. But there's a process that keeps bone healthy and strong, and we call that normal bone remodeling. And that involves um, several important components, which are illustrated on this um, diagram. It simplistically shows um, the bone microenvironment, as we like to call it, and the important cells and components of bone that are important for bone remodeling. There are three different cell types, the osteoclasts, which are large cells that destroy bone, the osteoblasts, which are large cells that form bone, those cells secrete a protein that is deposited into the bone matrix. And when they are, make bone, they bury themselves in that bone and become osteocytes. Osteocytes are the mechanical sensors of the bone. They sense micro fractures, they sense stress, and they send signals to the osteoclasts and the osteoblasts. And finally, the mineralized bone matrix or the hard part of the bone provides structure for the body, but it also stores growth factors in the body, which as we'll talk about later, can stimulate cancer cells to grow. This process is going on in the body at all times. When there is a stress, the osteocyte can sense that and say there's a microfracture, it sends signals to the osteoclast to come in and remove that abnormal stressed bone. Then that's the osteoclast sends signals to the osteoblast to come in and form new bone over that area of bone destruction. That pro whole process keeps bone healthy, fresh, and strong throughout the body, and the whole cycle takes about 120 days um, in the body and again is occurring at all sites. This clip is part of a longer interview on cancer and bone health. Go here to learn how cancer impacts bone and the mechanism behind the positive effects of low intensity vibrations. 